from hunting the Avatar to regaining his honor. Here are the biggest moments on Zuko's path to redemption. Finally. Uncle, do you realize what this means? I won't get to finish my game. It means my search. It's about to come to an end. <sighs> that light came from an incredibly powerful source. It has to be him. Oh, it's just the celestial light. We've been down this road before, Prince Zuko. Please sit. Why don't you enjoy a cup of calming jasmine tea? I don't need any calming tea! I need to capture the Avatar! Helmsman, head a course for the light! Uncle, where are you? Something's not right here. That pile of rocks. It looks like there's been a landslide, sir. Land doesn't slide uphill. My uncle's been captured by earthbenders. The Avatar. Excellent form, Prince Zuko. You taught me well. They'll be used as a distraction while we mount an attack from the rear. What better to use as bait than fresh meat? You can't sacrifice an entire division like that. Those soldiers love and defend our nation. How can you betray them? Zuko was right, you see. But it was not his place to speak out. And there were dire consequences. Zuko had spoken out against the General's plan, but by doing so in the Fire Lord's war room, it was the Fire Lord whom he had disrespected. Zuko would have to do his own father. He begged for mercy. Please, Father, I only had the Fire Nation's best interest at heart. I'm sorry I spoke out of turn. You will fight for your honor. I meant you no disrespect. I am your loyal son. Rise and fight, Prince Zuko. I won't fight you. You will learn respect, and suffering will be your teacher. I looked away. Look! We need to get this ship to safety. Then we must head directly into the eye of the storm. Open the gate. part about being born over a hundred years ago is I miss all the friends I used to hang out with. Before the war started, I used to always visit my friend Kuzan. The two of us, we get in and out of so much trouble together. He was one of the best friends I ever had. And he was from the Fire Nation, just like you. If we knew each other back then, do you think we could have been friends too?
honor for me without the Avatar. Zuko. Even if you did capture the Avatar, I'm not so sure it would solve our problems. Not now. And there is no hope at all. No, Zuko. You must never give in to despair. Allow yourself to slip down that road and you surrender to your lowest instincts. In the darkest times, hope is something you give yourself. That is the meaning of inner strength. Uncle, I thought a lot about what you said. You did? Good, good. It's helped me realize something. We no longer have anything to gain by traveling together. I need to find my own way. I told you he'd come! things may seem to change, never forget who you are. My name is Zuko, son of Ursa and Fire Lord Ozai, Prince of the Fire Nation and heir to the throne. Liar! I heard of you! You're not a prince, you're an outcast! His own father burned and disowned him! Not a step closer. It's yours. You should have it. No, I hate you! Where is she? You're mine now. Uncle? So, the blue spirit. I wonder who could be behind that mask. What are you doing here? I was just about to ask you the same thing. What do you plan to do now that you've found the Avatar's bison? Keep it locked in our new apartment? Should I go put on a pot of tea for him? First I have to get it out of here. And then what? You never think these things through. This is exactly what happened when you captured the Avatar at the North Pole. You had him, and then you had nowhere to go! I would have figured something out. No! If his friends hadn't found you, you would have frozen to death! <sighs> I know my own destiny, Uncle. Is it your own destiny? Or is it a destiny someone else has tried to force on you? Stop it, Uncle. I have to do this! I'm begging you, Prince Zuko. It's time for you to look inward and begin asking yourself the big questions. Who are you? And what do you want? Uncle! You did the right thing. Letting the Avatar's bison go free. I don't feel right. Zuko! You should know this is not a natural sickness. What, what's happening? Your critical decision. What you did beneath that lake. It was in such conflict with your image of yourself. 
that you are now at war within your own mind and body. What's that mean? <coughs> you are going through a metamorphosis, my nephew. It will not be a pleasant experience. But when you come out of it, you will be the beautiful prince you are always meant to be. doesn't matter. It's just that for so long now, whenever I would imagine the face of the enemy, it was your face. My face. I see. No, no, that's that's not what I meant. It's okay. I used to think this scar marked me. The mark of the banished prince cursed to chase the avatar forever. But lately, I've realized I'm free to determine my own destiny, even if I'll never be free of my mark. Maybe you could be free of it. What? I have healing abilities. It's a scar. It can't be healed. This is water from the spirit oasis at the North Pole. It has special properties, so I've been saving it for something important. I don't know if it would work, but... I don't understand. What are you doing with the Avatar? Saving you, that's what. Uh! Zuko, it's time we talked. Go ahead. Why, Uncle? You are not the man you used to be, Zuko. You are stronger and wiser and freer than you have ever been. And now you have come to the crossroads of your destiny. It's time for you to choose. It's time for you to choose good. I expected this kind of treachery from Uncle, but Zuko, Prince Zuko, you're a lot of things, but you're not a traitor, are you? Release him immediately! It's not too late for you, Zuko. You can still redeem yourself. The kind of redemption she offers is not for you. Why don't you let him decide, Uncle? I need you, Zuko. I've plotted every move of this day, this glorious day in Fire Nation history. And the only way we win is together. At the end of this day, you will have your honor back. You will have father's love. You will have everything you want. Zuko, I am begging you. Look into your heart and see what it is that you truly want. You are free to choose. Get out of here! I'll hold them off as long as I can!
For so long, I thought that if my dad accepted me, I'd be happy. I'm back home now. My dad talks to me. <laughs> he even thinks I'm a hero. Everything should be perfect, right? I should be happy now. But I'm not. I'm angrier than ever, and I don't know why. There's a simple question you need to answer, then. Who are you angry at? No one. I'm just angry. Yeah. Who are you angry at, Zuko? Everyone. I don't know. Is it Dad? No, no. Your uncle? Me? No, 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 no! Then who? Who are you angry at? Answer the question, Zuko. Talk to us! Come on, answer the question. Come on, answer it. I'm angry at myself! Why? Because I'm confused. Because I'm not sure I know the difference between right and wrong anymore. You sent this, didn't you? I found the secret history, which, by the way, should be renamed the history most people already know. The note said that I needed to know about my great-grandfather's death, but he was still alive in the end. Zosin was your father's grandfather. Your mother's grandfather was Avatar Roku. Understanding the struggle between your two great-grandfathers can help you better understand the battle within yourself. Evil and good are always at war inside you, Zuko. It is your nature, your legacy. But there is a bright side. What happened generations ago can be resolved now by you. Because of your legacy, you alone can cleanse the sins of our family and the Fire Nation. Born in you, along with all the strife, is the power to restore balance to the world. The bossing say it was Azula who took down the Avatar, not me. Why would she lie to me about that? Because the Avatar's not dead. He survived. What? In fact, he's probably leading this invasion. He could be on his way here right now. Get out! Get out of my sight right now if you know what's good for you. That's another thing. I'm not taking orders from you anymore. You will obey me, or this defiant breath will be your last. Think again. I am going to speak my mind, and you are going to listen. For so long, all I wanted was for you to love me, to accept me. I thought it was my honor that I wanted, but really, I was just trying to please you. You, my father, who banished me just for talking out of turn. My father, who challenged me, a 13-year-old boy, to an Agni Kai. How can you possibly justify a duel with a child? It was to teach you respect. It was cruel, and it was wrong. Then you've learned nothing. No, I've learned everything, and I've had to learn it on my own. Growing up, we were taught that the Fire Nation was the greatest civilization in history. And somehow, the war was our way of sharing our greatness with the rest of the world. What an amazing lie that was. The people of the world are terrified by the Fire Nation. They don't see our greatness. They hate us, and we deserve it. We've created an era of fear in the world. And if we don't want the world to destroy itself, we need to replace it with an era of peace and kindness. <laughs> Your uncle has gotten to you, hasn't he? Yes, he has. After I leave here today, I'm gonna free Uncle Iroh from his prison, and I'm gonna beg for his forgiveness. He's the one who's been a real father to me. Oh, that's just beautiful. Maybe he can pass down to you the ways of tea and failure. But I've come to an even more important decision. I'm going to join the Avatar, and I'm going to help him defeat you. Really? Since you're a full-blown traitor now and you want me gone, why wait? I'm powerless. You've got your swords. Why don't you just do it now? Because I know my own destiny. Taking you down is the Avatar's destiny. Goodbye. Coward! You think you're brave enough to face me, but you'll only do it during the eclipse. If you have any real courage, you'll stick around until the sun comes out. Don't you want to know what happened to your mother? What happened that night? My father 
Fire Lord Azulon had commanded me to do the unthinkable to you, my own son. And I was going to do it. Your mother found out and swore she would protect you at any cost. She knew I wanted the throne, and she proposed a plan. A plan in which I would become Fire Lord, and your life would be spared. Your mother did vicious treasonous things that night. She knew the consequences and accepted them. For her treason, she was banished. So she's alive? Perhaps. Now I realize that banishment is far too merciful a penalty for treason. Your penalty will be far steeper. I've been through a lot in the past few years, and it's been hard. But I'm realizing that I had to go through all those things to learn the truth. I thought I had lost my honor and that somehow my father could return it to me. But I know now that no one can give you your honor. It's something you earn for yourself by choosing to do what's right. All I want now is to play my part in ending this war. And I know my destiny is to help you restore balance to the world. I'm sorry for what I did to you. It was an accident. Fire can be dangerous and wild. So as a firebender, I need to be more careful and control my bending so I don't hurt people unintentionally. I think you are supposed to be my firebending teacher. When I first tried to learn firebending, I burned Katara. And after that, I never wanted to firebend again. But now I know you understand how easy it is to hurt the people you love. I'd like you to teach me. Thank you. <sighs> Uncle. Uncle, I know you must have mixed feelings about seeing me. But I want you to know, I am so, so sorry, Uncle. I am so sorry and ashamed of what I did. I don't know how I can ever make it up to you, but I... How can you forgive me so easily? I thought you would be furious with me. I was never angry with you. I was sad because I was afraid you lost your way. I did lose my way. But you found it again. And you did it by yourself. And I am so happy you found your way here. It wasn't that hard, Uncle. You have a pretty strong scent. I can't believe a year ago my purpose in life was hunting you down. And now... And now we're friends. Yeah. We are friends. I can't believe a year ago I was still frozen in a block of ice. The world's so different now. And it's gonna be even more different. We'll rebuild it together. my uncle that I would restore the honor of the Fire Nation. And I will. The road ahead of us is challenging. 
A hundred years of fighting has left the world scarred and divided. But with the Avatar's help, we can get it back on the right path and begin a new era of love and peace. All hail 